Master playing. Uh, we got the Pac-Man cosplay. So. Oh, oh that's oh that is Pac-Man. That's so cool. Yeah, right on, man. Oh no. Uh, Wait, I don't know. No, 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 not yet. No. Oh. Yeah, there we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. But oh, I actually love this head-to-head -head screen too. It's a nice little frame of spider web. Mm -hmm. Pretty dope. Uh, I'm sure Stitch is behind this as well. Got the yeah. Bowser and the Bowser Jr. and uh, the colors and everything. Uh, it's very festive. And I mean, we're here. It's like we got black, orange. And I saw some black and purple as well. And this event is really coming together. So it looks like we're going to be eating Pac-Man versus Puff. Yeah, Puff. It's going to be a very slow match for sure. Because <laughs> uh, both of them don't really have like uh, an option to KO you right now. Except for like Puff's rest, I guess. But like, well, yeah, but you have to you have to get like a landing up air against Pac-Man, who's always got things thrown out. Yeah, how are you going to get close to him to so even get the rest? You See, know? That's what I'm thinking. Like, How at any point is Jigglypuff going to go in? Because Pac-Man's so good at covering so much space. He always has a Hydrant down. He's throwing fruit at you. And if you try to go over bro, he'll just up air or up tilt you. Uh, we're going into this game one right here on PS2. A very, you know, neutral start stage. Uh, like, why not? And, uh, yeah. It was cool. The first wave of singles. Uh, doubles wrapping up. But going into this really early, again, he's kind of like putting the hydrant there to control the stage. Mm -hmm. All right, finally throws a Galaga. That's how the damage comes in. I know Pete's the time. He's respecting a lot of the space that pass is uh, putting out. But that's kind of what you have to do, especially against Pac-Man. Yeah, and then Puff doesn't exactly have the mobility to just stop him from charging these uh, items, the fruit, mm -hmm. the bonus fruit. And especially at this time, Jigglypuff's already at 100%. He is not really going to kill, but that, that almost did. But uh, yeah, the bell is going to be really uh, scary to be around. But the good thing is that Jigglypuff jumps a lot, so almost runs into that F-Smash. And we're getting into the realm where like a back throw might do it, you know? Yeah, definitely at the ledge. But down air will also kill. Pretty much anyone on the screen. Yeah, he's got the, kind of that snake animation down there that just has like really good knockback. But the key is more than enough. Yeah, especially against Jigglypuff. That key not too great in terms of knockback, but against a small, a small light character like Jigglypuff. Yeah, not gonna ask any questions. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard because fighting Pac-Man with a lead is daunting. Yeah, a tall task and. Uh, again, this is okay. Still That's gonna do it though, right? Short hop sing. Oh, big charge on that! I don't even <laughs> think Pastor Mash. I don't think you needed to charge that much, but it doesn't matter. Yep. Uh, even stocks, so that's really good for the puff, man. Pizza time, showing he's still in this. Yeah. Damage slowly racking up 50%. Pizza time realizing he needs to kind of take it slow. Oh. All right, no jump, but that fair is so fast. Yeah, Pac-Man's new fair, it's so safe. It's so safe, it's so fast, and it actually has knockback this time around. Mm -hmm. But in uh, Jiggly, in Pizza Time's pursuit to try to get damage, he's already racked up 90. And at that time, the Bell's going to be able to take the KO, and the key near the ledge will also be able to kill. Uh, getting the slow pressure. Honestly, it's still pretty even uh, until that Hydrant hit him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I, you know, a, a rest conversion will work, or even like a sting. Oh, Ooh, jump. Try to jump over the Bell, but just a little too slow. Got the max distance on that, too. That was really good. Good punish on that. That's a good way to, I don't know, just like, it takes a heavy hit to knock it over, and by the time you knock it over, Pac-Man's there with a the hitbox. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that Nair just to continue putting on pressure to Pac-Man and get rid of the Galaga. Oh, I like the parry attempt, but not going to get the right timing. Yeah, the multi-hit's going to stop that. All right, this uh, lead slowly getting away from Pizza Time, but... He's not too far out of it yet. He just needs one read. Oh, thought he had it there. Ooh. Kind of chipping away right here. And uh, that back here is going to put it in the last stock scenario. 74%. Nothing to scoff at. So Jigglypuff not really able to make more mistakes, but I believe in pizza time. Yeah, not right in rest, rest, rest percent yet. He's got to chip away a little bit more. Or maybe get another, like, Sing option. That Sing was a really clean call out. And now Pizza Time is trying his hardest to get in and get this damage, but it's it's racking up really slowly. Yeah, he got nothing off of that parry. And the key going to take it? Oh, my God, we're still living. Yeah, perfect DI, but honestly, he can't take another one. You really can't, especially at 140. The down air is going to kill, and he's probably going to be going for that a lot. And now controlling the space with the hydrant, another, another key. key? Yeah. Nope, DI. Okay, unfortunately, yeah. we're not going to be able to live that one. You can't be focused on the hydrant when you're at that percentage. Mm -hmm. You just get wrecked. Yeah, it's really just that misdirection game, that sleight of hand that Pac-Man likes to play. You put out the Hydrant, all of a sudden everyone's focus is like, okay, let me get rid of this Hydrant, let me get rid of this Hydrant. And when you're doing that, you're giving Pac-Man so much time to set up. 
And it looks like we're going to run it to a counterpick stage of the final destination. A really good stage for Pac-Man, I think, because now he's going to control space even easier, I think. No platforms to get away from. Right. So I don't know about if that's a good option for Puff. But then I don't really know what stages Puff likes in this game. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't even have a guess. But, no, I'm not the Puff main. Peach Tom probably has an idea that I don't, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this pool is still best of three. Not sure when the best of five is happening yet, but I'm sure probably like top 24, top 32. Yeah, probably start at top 24. Yeah. So, uh, just kind of looking for an option here, looking for an opening. Just a little bit. What's really scary here is that Puff doesn't really have those safely spaced aerials that she can put out. It's really just like space fair. And if you do anything unsafe on shield, Pac-Man has a plethora of options to do out of shield. He has the fair, he has the nair, he has down air even. Ooh, almost got that forward smash on there. That was just blowing up Jigglypuff. <laughs> All right, again, gets that parry on the down air, but just doing it one too late. Again, just running right into the hydrant every time consistently when Passer's uh, charging up that key. Yeah, and this is a massive lead for Passer. That fourth match, I don't think it would have KO'd him, but it would have been a massive like, stage control and damage. Ooh. And just getting these low percent strings. Not too much. And right now, Peach Time's going to need another uh, Sing read if he wants to be able to bring this back because this oh. damage is leading up. The Gallagher combo is coming out to play, getting a lot of percent off of that conversion. Yeah, right now, Passer's looking comfortable. Oh, there we go. Applying the pressure here still, staying out of Jigglypuff's range. All right, tries to go for that F-Smash read again, but Passer just jumping right over it. Ooh, neutral air. Gives him the stage. Yeah, right now, right now, Pastor just has full control of the stage, and Peach Time is so he's struggling to bring it back, and already down three to one. This is looking bad. Yeah, I'm really thinking this stage idea was not very good for Puff. Mm. Against Pac-Man, anyway. Especially against Pac-Man. Yeah, he's just charging these bonus fruits, laying the hydrant down, controlling so much area, and then you can't really afford to like spend the time to knock the hydrant down. Honestly, this is a, a, a giant mountain to climb. This is. If there's ever been a comeback to make it, it'll be now. Uh, this is a uh, rough. He sound doesn't even know how to kill Passer. And honestly, I understand that, especially Jigglypuff. And it's really tricky to hit Pac-Man to begin with, so it's really easy. It's like, once you lose the first stock, that's really the mentality that I take when I fight Pac-Man, is I force myself to get first stock. Because if I get the first stock, he has to come to me. Mm -hmm. So uh, Passer going to end that second game with a three stock. Yeah. Flexing a bit on stream. You know it. what? Feel yourself. Yeah, he's got the thumbs up right there. That's looking pretty good. Uh, up next, though, oh, we got Boat hopping on stream. We're going to see the Queen DDD in her almighty presence. Uh, not sure if she'll offer the Toon Link or DDD 